So this video is about the square root of 2, which is something that's been known about for a long time, uh, partly because it arises naturally when you look at a square uh, in geometry. If you look at a square of side 1, then the diagonal of that square is root 2. And the Greek mathematicians knew all about that, and Pythagoras and uh, Euclid and so on. Um, but it's been known about a lot longer than that. And to give you an idea of how long, I've drawn out something called YBC 7289. Uh, YBC stands for the Yale Babylonian Collection, um, and 7289 is the number of the piece. So this is in the Babylonian Collection of uh, Yale University in the States. And it's a clay tablet, so it's an exercise book that a student would have used uh, when they were studying mathematics. Um, and it's nearly 4,000 years old, so it's from about 1700 BC, so that's really old. Um, the inscription on the tablet is a square with the diagonals marked and some, some numerals. Now the Babylonians worked in base 60, although when they wrote their numbers down they also kind of used base 10. Um, let me show you what I mean. So they would press a stylus into the clay I think it, it had two ends or two slightly different forms to it um, so that they could mark their units like this and they could mark their tens like this. So when they uh, wrote down the numerals, this would be three tens. So I'll write that next to it there, 30. Um, this is a one on its own. This is two tens and four units. This is five tens and one unit. And this is one ten. Okay, so the base 60 number that that represents, well, there's a problem now because, let me rub this out to make a bit of space. Uh, the problem is that they didn't have a decimal point so we can't tell what are whole numbers and what are fractional parts. Um, but let's make the assumption that that 30 there represents 30 sixtieths, which is equal to a half, uh, and that this, uh, the decimal point goes here. So this is um, a 1, and then this is the number of sixtieths, so that's 24 over 60. And this is 51 over 3,600. And this third base 60 place uh, is 10 divided by 60 times 60 times 60, which is 216,000. Okay, so if we work those out, um, we get a value of uh, 1 plus 0.4 plus 0 0.0146, uh, no, 0.141666 um, plus 0 0.0004629. And that adds up to 1.4142126 and some other numbers there. And the actual value of uh, the square root of 2 um, to a similar number of decimal places is 1.4142126. So we actually don't get an error here until we get up to that many decimal places, really. Um, and I think that's pretty good. I think it's pretty amazing. One, two, three, four, five, six or seven decimal places of accuracy. Uh, and that was known to the Babylonians, 1700 BC. So the question is, uh, how did they know the value to that degree of accuracy? Um, they couldn't possibly have measured it using, um, you know, rope and bits of wood or uh, anything like that. 
uh, not to that level of accuracy. So they must have they must have known the maths in order to be able to calculate the value, and and they certainly did, and that that will be the subject of another video.